Lance Vea. House Redoran isn't emptying its coffers so you can chase your own tails out here. You pay the War Claws well, because the War Claws are the best there is. We have the kitten scent. It's just a matter of time before my warriors catch her. Of course, Ferrara. Just make sure she doesn't get out of the swamp. I'll take my soldiers and guard the eastern... Ah, the Counselor's Lackey. I understand you've made significant progress in your search for Vea. As a matter of fact, so have we. My mercenaries have spotted Vea skulking about the northern portion of the swamp. But Vea's brother... <laughs> it's a sad story. Killed one of his own soldiers to protect an Ashlander, of all things. Ulran always had an unnatural attraction to the Ashlanders and their savage ways. He felt that an Ashlander life was worth more than a Redoran life. But as you say, Ferhara's war claws take their contract as seriously as you do, however. G Ferhara assumes the counselor's minions will not present a problem for the war claws. Yes, Captain? Ah! Stupid wolf. By the three, you really shouldn't sneak up on a person like that. If you're working with those mercenaries, I assure you, you won't take me without a fight. Oh, right. Now you mentioned something about that. Unfortunately, there's a mob of those beast people between here and the cave. I was go you're going to tackle that mob of fur and claws. I'm impressed. Meet me at the cave when you're finished. I think we have a lot to talk about. Oh, um... Try not to get killed. I Meet me in the cave to the north when you finish with the mercenaries. I can smell the dark elf kitten. Looks like we're the first ones here. What do you think of my luxurious accommodations? It's got dirt and rock, fungus and a poultry fire, all the comforts of home. No, that can't be right. 
Uran's honorable and noble. He's a model soldier. What? My brother has always been interested in the Ashlanders, even showed them a kindness the rest of the house doesn't approve of. But for him to kill someone, especially one of his own soldiers, something terrible must have happened. I know the tribe that Oran liked to help, brought them supplies and such. He'd go chicken handle us, though, just a fine hero. Vea, grab your things. It's time to go. Go? Why? What's going on? The Warclaws are marching toward this cave, along with half the House Redwin soldiers and Balmora. We need to go now. Damn it. They must have followed us. I'll get my stuff. with an arrogant, impatient, overconfident young woman. Now I know how my mother must have felt. The back tunnels. Better than heading out the front door and right into the main contingent of Redoran troops. One more thing. The back tunnels wind their way through territory that House Redoran recently acquired. We may... Does the ceiling look unstable to you? Search everywhere. Captain Brebin thinks the Counselor's Kitten might try to escape through these tunnels. Damn! Those cat bastards are harder to shake than a blind date! I can't get captured and taken back to my father. Not when I'm this close to finding my brother. Must be the way out. I just hope there aren't any red ones up there. Father ruins everything. I'm so close to finding my brother, and he shows up to drag me back home. You, you do that for me. Thanks, I guess. But what can you possibly do against all those soldiers? My father brought the whole damn army with him this time. Clever. Tell my father whatever he wants to hear. That might actually work. Once I find Oran and make sure he's all right, I'll meet with my father. But that meeting will be on my terms, not his. And tell Who goes there? Stand down. These outlanders work for me. The captain reported that he had seen you in the area. There are also multiple reports that Vea has been spotted. I also said that the captain has his own resources. The war clause report to Bribbon, not me. It was a gamble, I admit. An opportunity I couldn't let slip away. You won't make me feel guilty about trying to find my daughter. Very well. We'll do this her way. Vea can be as stubborn as her mother sometimes. But tell my daughter that my patience won't last forever. Do as I command, and let them pass.
Ashlanders, not with those tales. This is disturbing. I can't believe this. Why allow the war claws to run roughshod over the camp like this? What's House Ridderin thinking? And what in the name of the three have they done with the Ashlanders? My brother often visited this camp. Took me along a couple of times. If Ulran was here, he'd never stand for the war claws invading the camp. He told me the Ashlanders were the same as you and I. I really want to help, but Nariu won't hear of it. We don't get our hands dirty unless there's a writ attached. She's so fond of reminding me. Bea, I don't think this is a good idea. We're trying to keep you out of House Redwin hands, remember? You're not my parent, Nariu. I can take care of myself, even if the Mother of Blades doesn't think so. Damn it, Bea! You know I hate that title. If I'd realized how popular this camp was going to be with Outlanders, I would have moved the tribe ages ago. Ah, Wuran the Exile. He disgraced his family and lost his status, but remained true to his heart. I assume they dragged him off to the mine, along with most of the tribe who refused to let those tribunal dogs walk all over us. Or, should I say tribunal cats in this instance? It's a small hole in the ground, but it served us well until the Redorans and their War Claws arrived. Now... Get the key to the mine from either the War Claws commander or the supply yurt, whichever suits your needs. Perhaps you'll find what you seek within Kudanot's depths. To keep the head and the body separate, as long as I'm here, I can't offer my people hope or advice. And I... I have no doubt. However, my place remains with my people, at least for now. The War Claws have treated me well so far. We're just going to burn them? Even the Reverend? The captain called them traitors and savages. Said the good roasting was more than they deserved.
Vea, stay back. You don't need to see this. Oh, gods! They murdered these poor Ashlanders! Oh, no! Oran! Oran! We can't... Please! You can't be dead! You just can't! Bea shouldn't have had to see this. Even I'm finding it hard to believe that the mercenaries would slaughter these Ashlanders for no reason. Not to mention the son of a house counselor. I suppose anything could happen in the heat of the moment. But to kill a Redrum, even an exiled one, that's presumptuous even for the War Claws. I've seen these before. They use them in Eastmarch to record and send important messages. They're ex if you're listening to my voice, know that my time is short. What I have to say is important. Brother, is that you? Everything that happened was a deliberate act to discredit me. I need to report the event so my sister can learn the truth about her brother. <laughs> you have to understand, I don't share my house's hatred and distrust of Ashlanders. I arrived to find one of my soldiers arguing with the Ashlanders. He spat at them called them savages. When one of the Ashlanders objected, my soldier drew his sword. I ordered the soldier to stand down, but he ignored me and stepped toward the second Ashlander. I killed my own soldier. I had to. I believe I was set up for this fall, but I don't know by who. I came to this camp for shelter, but House Redoran's reach grows ever longer. Now Captain Brivens here. I'm going to talk to them. Oran! Damn it. What am I supposed to do now? Oran's not supposed to be dead. That wasn't the way this was supposed to end. I still don't understand. Oran said someone set him up to fall. So that's why they exiled him? That's why they killed him? He was too damn good? That's the problem? Oh, I'll find them all right. And when I do, they'll pay for what happened to Oran. I swear by Mafala's sacred web and the first blood my blade ever tasted, I'm going to avenge my brother. I agree with Oran's assessment. Certainly sounds like someone led him into a situation guaranteed to make him fail. I, can't, I didn't say that. I'm just not sure how to proceed. We're entering dangerous waters here, going up against House Rudrin. And we don't even have a writ to protect us. I'm going to take Thea and head back to our safe house in Balmora. They found our cave, but the abandoned basement is still secure. After that, I'm not sure. The Morog Tong has rules. We can't just kill with wild abandon. We follow a code. We only execute those whose names appear on sanctioned writs. If we... You do that, but be careful. We're not sure who in the House Redren is involved, and I'd rather not see you wind up like these poor Ashlanders.
And so the Outlander returns, as we discussed in the swamp. I expected you to return with Vea, or present me with a time and place for us to meet. Complication? What kind of complication? No, that's not possible. My son was banished, ordered to leave Vardenfell and never return. Vea was with you? And you left her out there? By the three, everything is unraveling, no matter how hard I try to maintain control. Tell my daughter I'm sorry. Tell her she needs to stay away until I can calm things down. If you'll excuse me, I need some time to consider everything you've told me. The captain serves House Redderin with honor and dedication. He's out doing his job. If Briven had anything to do with my son's death, he would have reported it to me. I'll speak to Briven when he returns. But understand, the captain operated under my orders. It was never meant to be an attack. I sent Captain Briven to clear land that already belonged to House Redderin. House Redderin has been slowly expanding in that direction for years. We claimed that area almost a year ago. Redderin depends on that land for hunting and resources. The Ashlanders are like a plague of insects. They... Dwemer gear. It's in remarkably good condition. Yes, wonderful. I'll mark it down. And here, another piece has fallen off the roots. Yes, uh, that is peculiar. Is something the matter, dear? You seem distracted today. Oh, oh, nothing's the matter. I'm just... I'm nervous. Whatever for. If anything attacks us, I'll be dead. I'm not nervous about an attack, Bravora. It's just... Well, there's no good way to say this. To say what? Marry me. Are you serious? That's not the response I hoped for. Gilan, of course I'll marry you. I, I love you. I just expected something more dramatic. 
Well, I planned to propose at the falls, but today we didn't go to the falls. I, I had to improvise. And this is why you've been so nervous. Yes. Wait. Did you just agree to marry me? Yes, Gilon. A dozen times yes. My dear, distracted, adorable archivist, I will marry you. That's wonderful! Isn't it? Oh, Bravora, you won't regret this. You are the stars to my sky. <laughs> Did you just come up with that? Well, um, no. I've been saving it for the right time. <laughs> 